Hello, Mr. Brooks here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, three-dimensional logo, sort of similar to what you see on this character's belt buckle, um, using Adobe Illustrator. So getting an image online, converting that into vectors using Illustrator, and then bringing that into Maya with the SVG node to create a three-dimensional logo like this. All right, so let's get started. First of all, let's jump into Google Images, and we're going to just search for um, something we know that will work easy for turning into a vector. So if you put the word symbol in your search, you'll most likely find what you're looking for. And in this case, I am looking for the Zerg symbol, which is a race in a game called StarCraft. OK, so if we click. Uh, oh, this solid black one here, that would be the best one to use in this case. So if you can find a symbol that is just solid black, it'll make it a lot easier. So we can now drag that image off to our desktop. So let's move some windows out of the way and drag right here from Google Images onto our desktop. And it doesn't even have to be super high resolution because we are going to convert this into vectors, which will eliminate the need for us to worry about resolution. Okay, so now I can just drag this image from our desktop over into Adobe Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I don't even have to worry about scaling it. I can just go ahead, make this a little bigger, <clears throat> hit the image trace button at the top here. Now that, that I can see my symbol there. So image trace, and then I'm going to hit expand. OK. And now over here in the layers palette, looks like two little stacked symbols. I can open up my layers and see what's inside here. And depending on your symbol, there may be a ton of layers in here based on how it traced it. So how solid it is. Since mine is just a continuous solid black image, then it didn't have any problems, and it just gave me an extra empty layer there. So I'll trash that white layer. Don't need that. And now I'm ready to export. So file, save as. And I'm going to save it as an SVG file. That's just a standard vector graphic format. OK, so I'll call this Zerg symbol. I can type today. Put that on the desktop so I know where it is. We can leave all of the default options, just say OK. All right. So now, <clears throat> back over to Maya. Let's just make a blank scene here. All right. So inside of Maya, there is a button on the poly modeling shelf called SVG. Click that, and you're going to get this kind of uh, placeholder thing to bring in your image. And now I can click Import over here in the Attribute Editor, go to my desktop, choose that SVG file that we just exported out of Illustrator, hit Open, and there we go. OK, so there's a lot of adjustments you can make to this via the SVG node right here in the Attribute Editor once you've got it. And this is basically all the same functions that you have um, with the text tool inside of Maya. So let's go to geometry and let's make it not quite so thick right there. So extrude distance, just pull that back some. About like that. <clears throat> now this is a very sharp symbol, so it's supposed to have very straight cut edges. But you may want to experiment with using bevels too. So enable a bevel. And of course, that's way too much. That looks crazy. So let's go back in here for the bevel distance. Let's pull that down until it looks a little more realistic. Or it gives you the effect that you're going for. Yeah, see, in this case, I don't want any bevel at all. It's just kind of going nuts. And there's bevel offset, so we can crunch that in a little bit. There we go. OK, so that would give it a little bit more rounded edge to look a little better. OK, and that's basically it. You could then you know, apply a new material to whatever you want. But 
It is that simple, simple, <laughs> simple, simple, to bring in any image you find from Google Images, convert it into a vector with Illustrator, export it as SVG to bring into Maya to make it in a 3D version. And that's it. Thanks for watching.